Can you hear me? Wow, look at this crowd. This is wonderful. Thank you very much. My name is Mike Williams, and it's on cool. behalf of the Theater Organ Society of San Diego, we welcome everyone here. We'd like to thank our members. We'd like to thank members of SAPS at Sea. We'd like to thank uh, members of uh, the uh, Antique Automobile Club of America. Let's give a hand for those cars out there. Do we have any first timers here tonight? Any first timers here tonight? Great. Wait, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy this. Um, we look forward to, if you're of a mind, and, and people from other clubs. I'm a member of a couple of clubs that's in here right now. Um, if you would like to help support us in our goals of uh, producing shows like this, and keeping this magnificent instrument operating, we'd love for you to join, um, uh, give us a, a, a membership application for the rest of the year, of course it'll be free, and then I'll send you a, a, a notice via email or, or postal mail um, for a whopping fee of $20 for your entire family for the year to join our club and help support this. So we would welcome you to do that and hope you can. Um, tonight's show is, is a combination of uh, our club with the South Sea, the local Laurel and Arden Club. And we're very uh, happy that this could happen. Um, that we've done this many times before and it's always turned out well. Uh, John Fields is uh, gonna be up here in a minute and always produces a wonderful show. A little bit of housekeeping here. The bathrooms, if you haven't seen them, are in the back, ladies, to this side and to this side. We're gonna have an intermission somewhere in the program probably around halfway. Um, we have a lot of people here, and we know that you'd probably like to have some refreshments. The church school here, um, all the kids get together with their parents, and they produce all of the food and get the food ready and do this for us uh, by donation. So uh, the donations go for their uh, trips, for the kids' trips uh, in Washington, D.C., that kind of thing. So um, it's a good cause, so um, dig deep if you can for your coffee and sweets over there. For those that haven't been here before, if you exit out either this side exit or that back side exit um, to the east, there's a big hall over there called Williams Hall. You'll see it. A bunch of people with lights are on over there and just help yourself go in and enjoy yourself. We're going to rush you a little bit, not too much, I hope, because um, we do have a full program and none of us want to get home at midnight. So, um, <laughs> so we're, uh, we're, we're, we're going to try to uh, get, get that done and then get back to uh, what we're going to do here. All right, so I mentioned John. He is the Grand Chief of the Safsa Sea Camp here in San Diego. He's a marvelous guy. He's very, very talented and very knowledgeable about the subject matter that you're going to see tonight. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. John Field. Atta boy, John! It's okay, your insurance is paid. You know, it was a great idea when I bought this. And I had a song written for it. I left my footprints in San Francisco. <laughs> you can't sing in this thing. It comes out. But it doesn't mean it's not neat. Welcome, another great evening. Look at all these happy faces. So, uh, a few words about the Saps at Sea. We're the International Norm Hardy Fan Club Organization. There's over 200 tents, they're called, around the world, including the Bullfighters tent in Mexico City. So, uh, we are tent number 31, we're one of the earliest ones. This is our 39th year doing this. We have a wonderful 40th season planned for next year. And if you are a member, uh, please join us. Uh, we're going to have a lot of special guests. Uh, we're working on Dick Van Dyke. So we don't want to say for sure, but he's a longtime Laurel Hardy fan. And he did stand Laurel in one of his shows, if you remember, the Dick Van Dyke show. So uh, I say that whether he makes it or not, he's great. Uh, tonight's program, uh, we'll be seeing the first half or two of, of Laurel Hardy's finest shorts. One is called Do Detectives Think? It was during the early genesis of the team 
They really weren't quite a team yet, and you can see it for me, and they come across as a team. The second one is That's My Wife, which has Stan Laurel pretending to be Oliver's wife. <laughs> and it fits the Halloween theme very well. And when uh, Ollie's rich uncle meets Stan, who he's never met Ollie's wife before, it's a great reaction because I've dated women like that, but you'll see. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a great short as well. Uh, it is my great pleasure to introduce a gentleman who, of course, is our organist for tonight. He is a member of the SAPS, and he has talents that anybody would envy, especially me, because I can't carry a tune in the bucket, but this man is amazing. And uh, he'll be performing for us for the tonight's entire program, including the second half, which is The Cat and the Canary, a 1927 horror film, horror comedy, dramedy, uh, produced by Universal Pictures. So I think we're good there. And uh, also, Russ asked me and Charlie asked me to provide sound effects for our cartoon tonight. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, I was hesitant because I don't have my little sound effects box, but I'm going to fake it. It's a uh, Felix the Cat cartoon called Switches Witches from 1927. And if you've only seen the made-for-TV Felixes with the bag of tricks, this will be a real eye-opener for you. He preceded and was more popular than Mickey Mouse at the time. So, if our magical musical maestro, Mr. Russ Peck, is ready, ladies and gentlemen, Russ Peck! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 